Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm outside my caladiums that I started from Bubs. I did a video a while back in regards to the caladiums. If I should DI the caladium bulbs before I potted them into soil or allow them to just be placed in soil. So I'm torn between the iron, the uh, caladium bulbs, the ones that were DI had a larger leaf, but less foliage. This leaf is huge compared to the ones that were not DI'd. Um, they were much smaller, but they had more foliage. So today I'm going to combine both the DI and the I caladiums into uh, an arrangement. Let's see if I can get this down. So we have gorgeous weather. So I'm just going to take my time and today pot up the uh, caladium buffs. The containers are just repurposed. Um, these are the buffs that I purchased, I think it was three for five forty-two at my local Walmart. And of course I've always repotted, used my uh, containers to repurpose my buffs and seedlings over the year. So let's get started. Let's get started and uh, do an arrangement. I'm going to pot up the caladiums, but I'm going to put them in containers that I normally have outside in my front yard, but over the years they become a little tattered and worn. So instead of discarding them and throwing them out, I'm just going to repurpose them. So this is going to be a simple arrangement. I have the white caladiums and I also have the red caladiums, I and DI. So I think I'm going to make two pots, two arrangements. I think I'm going to make two arrangements with the red caladiums, both I and DI, and uh, a separate arrangement for the white caladiums and just have two red caladium containers on each side and the white container in the center. Um, I'm out of the biotone, but the plant tone also has the formula for the biotone. So I have plenty of the plant tone that I usually um, use in the garden as well. So I'm going to use that as my conditioner for uh, repotting each of the plants. Okay, so I'm just going to start off using the, the uh, plant tone. I'm just going to add a generous amount just to get the uh, plants established. And because it's in a container, the peanut is in the area. See how it likes the smell of the, uh, the biotone and the plant tone. So I'm just going to um, place each of the caladiums to squeeze the pot all the way around. These caladiums are actually started April 28th. And I just watered them just to keep them hydrated. You want to plant them about the same depth that you had them in the pot. 
I'm going to add some biotone here with just the plant tone. Just a generous amount of plant tone. Mix it in. Squeeze the pot. And drop the plant down in the new container. And this is going to cascade in the background of my um, solar pump or solar uh, water feature. I'm going to turn this around just a little bit. And then I'm going to add one right here in the center. So this one will sit in the center area and the backdrop. And then I will have the red caladiums on each side and these containers will not have a filler a thriller and a spiller only because of the location that they're sitting in they're more like a camouflage in this area so you won't actually they sit low the pot to sit close to the ground. I'm just going to add that just a little bit so it's not too deep. And within time, they'll perk up and take right off and they'll keep for the summer. So once I get them, and because this one already has been in bloom, this piece you can snip right off to encourage new um, growth, new shoots. You don't want the plant to waste energy trying to produce this any longer. So as time goes by, I'll, um, I'll snip that off. But I like the arrangement already. That's one pot. I'm going to work on the other two pots. So here I have the three caladiums. This is the caladium that I DI'd. So you can see that it has the larger leaf, but it doesn't have much growth. I'm gonna place that, that's gonna place in the back of the container. And then these are the two caladiums that I did not DI. And they have more foliage that, you know, they're producing currently and they will, uh, once they're repotted in the container here, they'll produce even more foliage. So I'm going to pot these up. And it, I don't think it really, it, it doesn't really, I don't think it matters whether you DI or not DI the bulb. It depends on what your preference is. If you want larger leaves, then you may want to DI your bulbs before you plant them. If you want more foliage, you just want to um, plant your bulbs in a nice potting mixture. So I'm going to remove these and I'm going to add a little bit of the plant tone since this is going to be the more focal in the back, just a little plant tone. It has the formula, and it also will condition the foliage. Uh, it has the formula for the plant tone. The it has the formula for the bio tone. You just want to squeeze the pot. You never want to pull on the, the foliage or the stem of the plant because if you damage that then you actually have lost your plant for that season if it is a perennial and then i'm just going to place it towards the back and it'll perk right up after it uh, becomes accustomed to the soil there i see a peanut in there so i think a squirrel's been in this area i'm going to Put the other two up front. And the 
fix it in. And for five dollars and forty-two cents, or thereabout, uh, from my local Walmart, didn't break the bank. At the end of the season, uh, you can actually pull up the caladium bulbs, allow them to dry out a little, store them in a nice cool spot, dark area, place them in a bag, and uh, you can reuse them or repurpose them the following year. I don't have much success with trying to bring them in and use them during the Christmas holidays because of the, the colors of the foliage, but I did try that last year. I don't have enough lighting in the house to to produce that. So, there we go. Let me just drop it down in there, right at the soil line. And these caladiums also were planted April the 28th of this year. And I'll just water those in. And so I'll have one red container on one side, the white container on the other side. And then I'm going to follow up with another container at the back on the red side. So this is, this is my final container. And because it is damaged from the weather over the years, and I usually have these out front, I just decided to bring them to the backyard, put them in a location where there is not much um, area to see the back of the container, and it will be just fine. It'll do just fine. So here I go. The larger caladium that was DI it has a new foliage just coming out, leaking out. This will go to the back of the container. And then the two smaller ones that weren't DI will go to the front of the container. Just move these out of the way. So yeah, you can always repurpose, you know, not as stunning as it used to be out front so just move it to the back of the yard uh, repurpose it in a location that's not really visible and you solve yourself uh, the problem of throwing out your container that's made of plastic Squeeze the container, flip it upside down. The whole container will come out. Pot will come out. I didn't put any um, biotin in there. Just add a little bit of the uh, plant tone. And that root is just about ready to soil is really good it's just that I watered the plant <clears throat> because it was a hot day yesterday and of course they will fall over if in fact they need to be watered so it'll bounce right back I'm gonna add a little bit of the plant color just to give it a start Squeeze the container. <clears throat> and drop it down inside. So, and I'll do the same thing with the last um, plant. Say hello, Peanut. Peanut is doing very well. He has his collar off and he's recovered from his little incident and looking very well he's ready to play i have a ball that he's trying to throw so after i get this last plant in peanut and i will have a little 
time to play in the backyard. Okay, drop it down in there. Don't forget to repurpose your pots, a conditioner of bleach, one part bleach to 10 parts water. And once you get that in there, looking good, I want to remember that this is a red caladium. This one here was not DI'd, and the one in the back was DI'd. Same, it was, it's the same uh, caladium, it's just that the one before I potted it up, I pulled off the, uh, the eyes because it says it makes the, the leaves much larger, which it is in this case. This one's a little tattered, but it has a new growth coming out. So this will sit in the back foreground of my um, water fountain area and cascade and look absolutely gorgeous.